Hey guys, Nuva here, uh, back again in PoE, and uh, if you watched the last episode, we had just uh, solo killed Dominus for the first time, and gotten here to the high gate to, uh, I guess this is basically just a new zone. Um, however, uh, in between that time, I actually kind of didn't like some of the features of my character and I didn't realize how expensive it was going to be to actually respect the character. So what I have done instead is I went back, uh, deleted my original character, went back and ran through and re-geared uh, re -geared and re-leveled a new character. So this is my new shadow. Um, I've liked him a, quite a bit more than my old shadow. Yes. Uh, not Not because I didn't like the assassin assassin build I had set up, but I had just made a couple uh, a couple small mistakes with that build, and I didn't really want to spend all the currency involved in uh, respecting that. So instead of that, I um, just re-leveled the character. I uh, I am a couple levels lower than what I was before, but uh, this is still uh, this is I'm more uh, more. Uh, a more comfortable, a more comfortable build for me. Uh, in general, uh, what I changed basically is that I made it a frostblade, a, a frostblade claw build basically. So um, instead of relying on uh, like um, uh, bleed and stuff, I'm more just outright damage and um, you walk to the outright damage I do will just kind of kind of give me survivability. I also have a large amount of freezing, so it stops enemies from really getting to me, and I, I prefer that a bit more to what I was running before. Um, basically, the build is just frost blades with, um, I think it's, hold on, as soon as we get to the dried lake here, uh, I'll be able to more look at my abilities and pull that up for you guys. Yeah, basically, basically my um skill tree looks like this. It's basically I'm still reliant on physical damage, so there's that, and then I'm just running claws and stuff like that, so I can increase uh, my physical damage off of my claws, and I'm also just running extra physical damage. I'm also running mostly evasion and uh, energy shield, with a lot of leech and stuff to keep myself alive. But um, when it comes down to it, my main abilities are just frost blades. Uh, I did put a um, uh, what was the name of that ability? I put an ice bite support and a hypothermia support, so I do get, I deal more damage against chilled enemies, and I also gain frenzy charges from killing enemies, or from killing frozen enemies, and I get a 15% chance increase. Uh, freezing, I'm gonna be running a lot of cold damage, so this is gonna really boost the damage off of that ability, and then I'm also running hatred just to get the extra physical damage um, as cold damage. And then I'm also running uh, Herald of Ice uh, in terms of just more cold damage uh, overall. I um, also plan on running Frostbite, um, but I need to get over to uh, reduced um, my reduced mana reserve, so I have enough mana to run that. Um, but uh, other than that, I believe that's how that works. Actually, uh, I'm not entirely certain, but I'm pretty sure that's how that works is where... The reduce the mana reserve reduces. I should have like 16% reduced mana reserve, so I'm hoping that actually brings this down to like 13%, basically, or not 13, 18%, so that I can I can run all of my orders, because then I'll be uh, I'll be able to I'll be 36, and then this will be 32, so I'll be I'll still have enough mana to run everything. Um, I also plan on running a golem, um, or something. And then a couple, maybe a couple of abilities that just that are trickable or something like that. Um, but that's basically my build right now, and I'm just gonna get back into continuing up the storyline. Uh, as far as right now, this is the last act no, uh, in the 2.6 patch, so I'll be finishing this up and then heading into. Um, I'll basically after I finish this, I'm just gonna give a basic guide. Or not a guide, my, my my thoughts on the game overall, and then um, that'll be kind of the end of my story until uh, 
basically until 3.0 comes out. I'm not sure when that comes out, but um, as soon as that comes out, I plan on getting more videos. But before that, I'll probably, probably be running a lot of um, races and stuff and trying to get some beta keys for it. Um, the best I've done in the race so far is like 340 or 343 or something. So, um, I don't know. I guess. I don't have a lot of experience with races or anything like that, but uh, it was, it's was it been a fun time when doing the races. Um, if you don't know, Patch 3.0 is coming out soon, and uh, it's the current release date, as stated on the website, is the end of, or is the middle of July, so um, when that comes out, uh, there will be a lot more things to do. Uh, it won't be this kind of 4-act system and then repeating, it'll be switched to like a 10-act system. And then uh, I guess just end game maps, which I'm hoping to get to um, eventually uh, before that comes out. But if I don't, then I'll have videos up on that when uh, 4.0 or 3.0 comes out. And I'll probably I don't know how the resets work. So if it means I have if it sends this character to like uh, standard league or something, then I'll probably just make a new character much like this and. Uh, I'll run a kind of, um, I'll just run through the, uh, game again, um, because there's quite a few changes from what I've seen in 3.0, so, um, I haven't actually watched any of the 3.0, uh, streams or anything like that, because I just want to be, uh, I want to make sure I, s everything's, like, new to me, because I feel like there's just so much coming out, I don't want to spoil it for myself, <laughs> so I haven't watched really anything on it, but, um, from what I've read and what I've uh, and what I've seen of the trailers, I'm very excited about it. So, um, but just getting through here. What am I, what am I here for? Directional banner. Okay. Um, at current, by the way, at current, I don't have, um, I haven't done the Ascendancy Trials yet on this character. Uh, I'll probably be going back and doing those, um, maybe when I get a couple more levels. Um, I'm not really sure what's in there, and I'm kind of worried about it, so... I just want to make sure my character is a little bit higher level. I figured I can do the quest line first, and then go back and do the, um... And then I'll go back and do the, uh, send it to trials. Uh, I do plan on going... Actually, I'm not sure what I plan on going yet. I'm just not sure entirely what's entailed in that, but... I feel like... I, I think it's level 70... I think it's level 30... 33 or something like that, and I'm level 42, so I think... Uh, being over leveled is probably going to be a, my best bet for that, just in general, but um, I don't know, I don't fully understand, I don't really understand what the trials are, uh, I might have either Brian or CB on board when I do, even, maybe both on board when I first do my trials, so um, they might be, but if they're not, it's fine, I'll just solo it, uh, I'm pretty comfortable with this build being able to solo pretty much anything at this point, so... Well, anything, anything level in content right now. I don't know, I don't know, uh... As far as endgame maps or anything like that, I don't know how those go yet, so... I don't know how great the build is for that yet, but... I'm hoping to get to that point at some point. Uh, let's see that.
Did I miss him? Okay, he must be in the middle there. So I'll go, I'll go there. Um, I apologize for being somewhat world leveled in general here because I did end up, um, I just had, got a bunch of legacy stones, so I just ended up kind of just farming them. Um, I did that on the walkway over after you kill Dominus, there's a walkway that comes over to the high gate. I just kind of sat there and just farmed because it's a pretty good place to farm XP and just things in general because it's very small, it's very, uh, linear. Very, it's a very linear um, area, so it's very easy to just farm. And, uh. Yeah. So I got distracted by the. Um, I guess this is a. I'm not sure if this is a boss or not, but. Right, well, he's dead. Um, but yeah, back to what I was saying. Uh, it's, very, it's a very linear area. That size, I'm going to have to get a bigger cap. So it's very easy to farm and run, uh all of your um leak stones on because uh it's just it's got a nice m amount of monsters and then you can just basically run from one end to the other and then reset it at the end that you reach so it's very easy to just farm over and over again so that's what i was doing beforehand because i really wanted to get some better weapons on this character or something something to just help out throughout the uh towards the end of this because um what is it exile x3 wasn't was starting to get a little bit di wasn't really difficult for me but when i got to the dominus fight that got very difficult for me so i wanted to make sure i had some remembered. extra things to help out with that um stash that do you need help with something be careful Let's see if i can chance over this see what i get uh 26, 13 to all tributes, 16 to all tributes, adds fire attack. I don't think that's better. Uh, nah, I don't think that's better. Alright. Yes. Okay, whatever. Not a big deal. Take care. Uh, from what I know, though, from what I've, I've been trying to figure out how to farm currency in this game, so basically any of those orbs and stuff are currency. I made a huge mistake on my first character and it, uh and i tried to just use a bunch of chance orbs on stuff i should not have done that i'm way too low level to do things like that so um definitely definitely save your kind of currency and stuff till you're a little bit the higher level don't don't use it up on early stuff the gate is open the chaos golem summon ice golem ice cream crutch critical strike and accuracy hmm I think I'm gonna go with a flame goal. Um, I just want the extra damage. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a flame goal. So I'll pop that on. Act with care. Thank you. Um, I'll try. I will try. Ooh, Tsuni. Looks like Tsuni's got something for me. Go. Okay, he wants me to find Dash Dashret Spear. Okay. So I'm assuming I just head into the mountain now. Um, Do you need help with something? Let me check and see if I have any supports for anything. Um, oh, I do have a minion life support. Okay, so put that on that minion damage. Okay, so uh, my minion will probably be pretty strong. Gonna give me it's got 30% more damage and 30% more life, so uh, that'd be nice. Hello. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to do prophecies right now. I'm just running here. Hmm. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, that actually uses quite a bit of mana. I don't want to let him die or anything because I just don't have the mana currently Swallowed to by the keep doing that. And I seem to be causing it a little indigestion. How much damage does that give me? 2600? Wow. Nice. 16% yeah, increased damage, that's really nice. I'm gonna be shredding things. Pick up. Uh, I don't know. Ooh, what was everything? Thirty four. Jeez, I'm super over leveled. Get so much XP. I'm, I didn't mean to get this over level, but you get so much XP when you farm stones. Like when you farm stones and run, uh, and just run the game, you get so much XP from things. Do I have any on me right now? I don't. Okay. Unfortunate. Someone or something is keeping very busy in the bowels of this mountain. I don't have any movement abilities yet. I need to get one. Oh, there's Dash for Spear. Okay. Um. It's always comforting to witness an honest, permanent death. An honest, permanent death? What? 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 I thought I was. I thought I saved it. Did I just kill her? Hmm. I should pay more attention to lore in this game. I really don't. <laughs> Satisfied. At least not. Keep pressing it. 
fucking button. I feel like my hit pool is low. Like, I need more health or something. I don't think it's not really getting to me, but I definitely feel like I need more health. Okay, that brings me back over here. I definitely need like a movement ability or something so I can get around a little bit faster. I'm not sure if that was just an area boss or something. Let's just check. What, where did I come in at? Came in this way, so let's just check. Should be probably over this way. That way. There we go. And crystal veins. Um, so I finished this. I got a. Uh, well, I got the, the the spirit. I found that. So now I'm looking for the rapture device. And you there. That a was moment terrifying. of your time. Let's send this malcontent. What he said it was. He wants me to go that way. Okay. Keep a target alive on low health for eight seconds. Well, that's kind of a pain, but it should be doable. Wow, there is a lot over here. Okay. Okay, it's low health, and I just wait. I just wait five seconds and just don't attack him. Alright, got that done. It's such an odd thing to when do. When we improve ourselves, but uh, and the oh, next time fun. you're in the sun encampment, make a visitation. Nice. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what that changes, but um, the master system is kind of interesting. It's for like personal hideout, and basically, when your master uh gets to like level three, you can basically make a hideout for yourself. It's like a personal, personal little area. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Thought it was no, outside of the range of that, but okay. That was... Wow. Um... <laughs> basically... I was talking about the master system. Wow, that was, that, that was surprising. Uh, basically, the master system... Um, they're just like... The masters that you seem to just encounter randomly in the world and um they all kind of specialize for a certain like for a certain class and then from what i've seen there's just a couple other ones uh when they come they basically when you level one of them to max level three then you get the ability to create a hideout or whatever or whatever for um them so uh i've already created my hideout and uh basically um they're just uh, basically when you go there you can like craft gear and stuff and customize gear and add better stats to gear and stuff like that um but uh i believe when they hit level five uh it lets you invite more of them so i think i should be able to invite more of them to my to my um my hideout now but uh i don't know it's a very interesting system 
because it lets you really customize gear very uh, specifically to what you want. But, oh my god, I really can't believe I just died like that. I only thought I was outside of the range of that explosion or whatever that was going to be. But um, this is my favorite masters for uh, the assassin because I just the shadow is just the most fun class for me. Um, I do have other characters. Um, e to be honest, my highest level character is level 60, and he's a Templar because I just wanted to try all the characters. But um, I don't know. The shadow is just more fun to me. Um, just like I don't know. I always kind of play the assassin, the assassin kind of class, so I really like the shadow. Um, Typically, I also play a ranger class, and but rangers seem kind of weird in this game to me. Like I can pretty much, like I made a ranger, you can pretty much shoot the entire map, and basically you just kind of stand there and kill stuff, and you never actually see it. <laughs> so I don't know if that changes towards end game. Like I don't know if uh, towards the end game things get tougher and you can't like shoot from one side of the map to the other and kill things, but. Uh, like low level, like level, I think I only have mine low level 20 or something, but um, low level, you can just shoot the entirety of the map and just kill things. Like you won't even see them, you'll just kill them. But moving on. Uh, still in search of the Rapture device. Uh, what was in the notebook there? The Rapture device. Has the Rapture device. It's a waypoint. Oh, here's a rapture device, and Lady Diallo's down here for some reason. Okay, what does she want? You know, <coughs> not a comb. Old act. And the you know, the racer. The Sword King. Huh. All right. Don't die, well, please. I'm gonna go back and see what reward I get from Tsuni first. But then I'm gonna wrap up this episode here, guys, and I'll catch you in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, sorry about that death. I just I wasn't expecting that at all. That's my bad. But uh. <laughs> I'll be sure to uh, uh, try to avoid any any deaths like that in the next episodes. But um, yeah, I'm gonna come back to the high gate, check out this reward, and then I will catch you. I'm gonna end the episode. So let's see what I got from uh, Tasuni. I believe his name was. Yep, Tasuni. I felt it. Oh, okay. So uh, uh, skill points. That's good. That's always good. Always want those. The corruption. So. But I'm going to wrap the uh, episode up here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And uh, be sure to leave likes and comments and subscribe below. Um, this is going to be started the, towards the end of my uh, PoE 2.6 playthrough. Um, so you probably won't see a lot of storyline running through from me until um, 3.0 comes out. But um, yeah, I'm just going to close up shop here and I'll catch you all later. Heaven sent my residence, it's heaven, they're just visiting, blending